Words appear. Whose blind life is it anyway? Presents. In association with Sterling Creation. Dining with Donna. Sponsored by VIP Tech. Hello everybody, and I'm Donna John Han, host of the Dining with Donna show, and I am pleased to be with you for the second week of February. I want to thank all of you who continue to tune in to listen to my shows, and I am thoroughly enjoying these shows as much as I hope that you are enjoying listening to me. And I continue to receive your suggestions, your thoughts, your feedback, and I encourage you to keep on sending these along to me at Ask Donna on Blind Life at gmail.com. Ask Donna on Blind Life at gmail.com. And I thank my dear friend Victor Guvia for giving me this opportunity. Uh, for continuing to be with you every week. And for the month of February, we are going to be continuing our um, focus on desserts and fruit. And for this week, it's all about figs poached in wine, okay? Figs poached in red wine, okay? I'll start by saying that I am no chef. I never said I was, and I'm no culinary artist, but what I am is someone who really likes to share my recipes, who likes to create them, who likes to change them. And I do a lot of this with friends and family, and even on my own. Many times I get into the kitchen on weekends when I want to relax and recharge. And if I have time during the week after work, I do the same thing. I find that creating and recreating recipes is probably one of the greatest therapies for me, and I've been doing this for many years now. And I only hope that I can entice you and encourage you and motivate you to do the same. Okay? Right. So, it's on to figs poached in red wine. And I keep saying every week that I start by telling you which implements you will need in order to carry out this recipe because organizing yourself before you even start is really, really, really important. It saves a lot of time and it brings order to your kitchen. So here are the implements that you will need to start with, okay? Measuring cups. Almost every week I stress measuring cups. Measuring spoons, the same as measuring cups. Mixing spoons. A serving spoon. A bottle opener. And I use a manual bottle opener. It's called the 6-in-1 Bottle Opener that I bought a few months ago from the BlindMiceMegaMall.com store. That's www.BlindMiceMegaMall.com But I'm sure <clears throat> that you will find this type of opener in many of your kitchen stores in your local food. Okay? You also need a grater and crock dash pot. Crock dash pot and a serving dish. And my favorite, paper towels. You need paper towels, trust me. Paper towels are one, is something that I keep in my kitchen all of the time. Clean up messes and spills and wipe my hands. But, oh gosh, I guess I'm a bit clumsy at times. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. Two cups of dry red wine. One cup of packed 
brown sugar twelve dried Mediterranean figs it doesn't matter what type of Mediterranean figs but as, as long as they are dry okay about six ounces of these dry figs okay two three inch cinnamon sticks one teaspoon <clears throat> one teaspoon of finely grated orange peel okay you with me all right are you ready to cook combine all of your ingredients all of your ingredients in a crock pot okay cover cook on low for five to six hours or on high for four to five hours you remove it and discard your cinnamon sticks and to serve you spoon the fig and syrup into your serving dish and you can serve this either warm or cold this makes four servings okay again it's one of my favorite i only give you recipes that are either my favorite or those of my friends and family I find this recipe very easy to make and I hope you do the same okay I know it's a short recipe so I have a bonus recipe for you that I got from the uh, internet the other day okay and I call this a bonus recipe Um, it falls under the category of salad supreme. It's a root salad supreme, and this is spelled R U I T, root salad supreme. Okay. You first have a 16 ounce can of peaches and drain it very well. Okay. Two cans, 11 ounces of mandarin orange juice. Drain it very well, okay? So altogether you would need 22 ounces. So if you don't get 11 ounces, you know, a can that is 11 ounces, make sure that you have 22 ounces all together and make sure it's drained very well, okay? one 16 ounce can of apricots drain it very well one 20 ounce can of pineapple and drain it very well so you see what i'm saying so far you have to keep drain all of your cans as you pour it out drain it first and then pour it into the bowl as you go along okay you need two 10 ounce packages of strawberries and don't drain these okay two 10 ounce packages of frozen strawberries okay don't drain them and you need a one four ounce box of vanilla pudding mix okay right pack your fruits dry with paper towels you see how your paper towels come into play in this recipe so after you've drained all of your fruits make sure you pack them dry okay you, you thaw your strawberries and then you add your pudding mix and you 
leave this overnight okay in your fridge this makes hen cinnamon again i tried this once or twice and i usually have this on weekends when i have friends over for dinner it makes a lovely dessert and it's well received by my friends all right so we have something else for you before ending the show and it's all about you want to keep your, its temperature control again okay keeping food cold food cold and it's using canned ice so if you want to keep foods on your buffet table cold or in your freezer bag cold use canned ice okay so here's what you do you fill, you fill 30 bags with packs, with packs of ice okay or you pack them you like i said you fill your bags with ice sturdy bags make sure they're sturdy bags okay you freeze it solid so your ice are cubes of ice that you put into these bags make sure the bags are sturdy right put it into your freezer um you could use plastic bowls or picnic bags and then you have tight fitting covers for these bowls you submerge these bowls or you, you put them around your food on your buffet table or in your free in your picnic bags and the other thing you can do is you can use frozen fruit and juices in the same way so let's say for example you've got frozen fruit okay put it in your sturdy bag you freeze it and there you have frozen fruit but you cut up your fruit of course first and your frozen juice just pour it into a sturdy bag and freeze okay and that's a great way to have you know like if you want to serve your juice so juice at meal time so you freeze your juice and then take it out about an hour before maybe half hour before your meal and you can serve your juice as a beverage okay that's it for me for this week um, i hope you enjoyed my show thank you victor hope you're listening i wish you a pleasant day pleasant rest of the week you guys stay safe now and please write to me at ask donna on blind light at gmail.com with your thoughts your comments your suggestions um if i'm hesitating a bit at times i want to make sure that what i'm telling you is correct and what i'm reading to you is correct okay take care and see you next week bye for now. you can catch dining with donna wednesdays at 10 a.m eastern 7 a.m pacific on whose blind life is it anyway